problem that we're having is in four or five days, actually less than that, in a couple of days, we're gonna need to take this truck and tow uh, a big trailer. And it has an exhaust leak on the manifold. It has a typical 5.3, uh, one of the manifold studs is broken off. And then the, the difference here is that it's one of the interior studs. And there's not a lot of information on using one of the uh, fixes, like this, the manifold clamps. So I'm not entirely sure if a $23 fix is going to be what we need here because um, this can be a rather expensive repair if that stud is broke off flush to the head and you got to pull the head off and getting in there and looking at it in the dark here as best I can it does appear as though that stud is uh, broke off down in the head So first things first, got to be able to get it started and get it out of here so I can get a little light. I'm going to back it out of the garage so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, I got the hood down. I'm going to back this truck out real quick. It should be easy to hear this on startup. Um, sounds like it happened last trip out. We could uh, hear it on a cold start. Pretty noticeable ticking that got better as the engine heated up. Alright, this is driver's side front, and we'll try and do this so you can see right above that spark plug boot, uh, that is where the stud is broken and missing. So front of the manifold here, that stud right there is the only one that's missing, and if you look, try and get in closer, if you look up around the top here, you can see some uh, darkening where it looks like that's where the leak is. And this is the clamp, Thorman 917142. Has a knockout to go around that uh, sensor in the head. Okay, challenge number one. Uh, the wire for this sensor is disconnected and this needs to fit in here about like that and there is a clearance issue with this heat shield so we got to take take care of that first okay this camera's probably going to bounce around a little bit because it's touching the truck I want to try and get this in close where you can see a little bit. So that clamp is in place. I uh, put a little bit of anti-seize on these bolts. Let me make sure they start nice. I'm going to have to roll this back a little further, get out of the way. Okay. Now, uh, this you would think would take a 15 millimeter, uh, but 916 fit better. So that's what I'm going with. 
get these snugged. Okay, and then uh, the final step is to put this last bolt in that pushes against the manifold. In this hole right here. Okay, so that's touching. The only slightly difficult thing about this, other than uh, trimming that heat shield and rolling it back so that you can easily get at the bolts, and I think um, I'm going to get in there with a shear and cut that off the rest of the way so it isn't so close to the spark plug boot. It's not touching and there's plenty of clearance to get it on and off, but I just I don't care for that. Uh, and then popping this. Uh, clip back on the sensor here uh, It's a little snug in there and you got to work it around and uh, try and push it through Just make sure to remember the orientation of it when you take it off so that you can put it back in the right position uh, before you start pushing on it Okay, that was about a 15 minute repair. Um, we are pretty quiet again, right back to just the normal valve crane sound. So I would call this Dorman exhaust clamp fix a success. So if anybody else has one of the interior studs that fails, uh, there's a reasonable indication that this fix should take care of it. So I hope anybody else who has this issue has the same luck that I did.